codependency is a coach client dynamic in relationships where one person takes on the role of the healer and the fixer and puts their needs aside. And the other person takes on the role of, I cannot fix anything by myself. I constantly need not just help, but validation and reassurance. Some people are in relationships like that with their children, where their children don't know how to deal with their emotions. So they go seek their parents' attention and their parents give them all that reassurance and validation. Sometimes in work dynamics, where a person at work has no idea how to deal with their emotions or their workload, so they continuously seek someone there that will always fix their problems. You can find this in partnerships or in friendships where there's a coach client dynamic, where one person takes on the role of the healer, the helper, the doer. Other person takes on the role of the client that constantly needs help self-regulating and managing their emotions or even their physical needs. Wherever it is in this world, if you are in a relationship where someone is continuously needing your help and you are the fixer, here are ways to help someone become independent because oftentimes the fixer person, the natural coach has a tendency to want to help everyone. So you can help everyone, but instead you can coach them to coach themselves. You can still remain a safe space for that person to open up to you, but instead of trying to fix what they're going through and them depending on you, you create a healthy dynamic where they come to you after they've already self-regulated. But remember, it is not your job to do that. This is just a suggestion. Number one, if a person comes to you needing help, you have to think of yourself first. Ask yourself, am I in a place where I can help them? If you are, I'm going to show you some tools on how to help them. But if you're not, you're allowed not to be. You're allowed to have healthy boundaries because you matter and your feelings matter. Whether you are the fixer or the fixie, here are some tools on how to teach them or how to train yourself to become self-regulated. Number one, the physical. Learn how to do daily body scans, meaning ask yourself what you're feeling in your body. Do you feel pressure? Do you feel pain, hot or cold? Do not judge the pain. Do not judge the pressure. Just feel it in your body. Number two, learn how to introspect, meaning self-reflect. Ask yourself questions. What am I feeling? How come I feel like this? Instead of saying, that is upsetting me, you can say things like, I am upset. Blaming other people for everything you're feeling versus taking your power and owning what you feel. Validate your emotions. I feel sad, it's okay to feel sad. I feel angry, it's okay to feel angry. Oftentimes we don't know our self-value, so we seek it externally. So it's important to become our own best friend. And the other thing, use your senses to their full potential. When we're young, we use our senses all the time, which means we center ourselves in the present moment. Like if a plane passes, you'll see a kid looking up, oh my God, a plane. If they hear a sound, if they smell something, they will immediately stop in their tracks and use their senses. As adults, we learn to go, 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 and just do what we need to do. So we forget that we have this really cool ability to center ourselves in the present moment, which means you are not thinking and stressing about the past, and you're not stressing about the future. When I say hyper-focus, I mean, don't just listen to the sounds around you. Listen to the far, far, far away sounds. Don't just taste the food you're eating. Name what you're tasting. Feel the textures on your tongue. This is not disassociating and seeking something externally to validate yourself. This is the number one thing to self-regulate, reconnecting with you. Imagine doing all this all while validating your emotions. It's normal to want to reach out to friends, to our parents, to our coworkers, to help us fix something that we feel we can't fix on our own. It's normal to do that. We do that with our physical bodies. We need doctors, we need dentists, but there's a healthy balance where we can do a certain amount of self-regulating and emotional validation before seeking that externally.